The graphics are realistically ugly when they should be stunningly cartoonish. The level design is bad. Almost nothing is reminiscent of the classics. There is a lot of pop-up. Tree, no tree. Tree, no tree. Invisible walls are everywhere. There's no rumble. Look how bad the camera is. A chimpanzee would handle the camera better. At least the music matches the sceneries. But that's exactly why they're worse than Alvin and the Chipmunks singing with allergies and alarm clocks. The collision detection sucks. You won't find the glitches. The glitches will find you. Half the game is nothing but button tapping and cinematics glued together. Why would you run through these loops when you don't have to and there's nothing to collect? Sonic doesn't leave footprints in the sand anymore, slides like he's figure skating, and never runs as fast as he used to. He looks like he runs even slower because of the overly stretched dimensions of the levels. Instead of the robots resembling animals like they should, they resemble unwanted crap deleted from Metroid Prime. Some of the rings are impossible to get. They wouldn't be so difficult if the camera didn't change angles, or if the controls weren't so bad. Yes! No! Fuck Nozzle! Now look at this! Sonic outruns this orca, jumps on flying pieces of wood, jumps on the orca's fin, and now logically, you'd assume that Jackie Chan's gonna jump to that nearby island, but no. Instead, he clings onto the fin like a frightened cat, and now Tails has to save him. It's the lamest excuse to force him to play as Tails, who should have been following my ass to begin with. And what was he doing, randomly standing by the edge of the dock? To save Sonic, you hit the switch. But why would you want to spoil the fun? Okay, why is there even a gate here? Am I in a fucking aquarium? And why was it left open to begin with? Now look at that! It doesn't even fully close! Why doesn't this stupid orca just swim underneath? Or go around? Look at it! How the fuck could it block the way? Nothing makes any logical sense. How does Sonic know the orca was trying to escape? Why did the orca try to escape the second Sonic jumped on its spin? Why weren't the other orcas trying to escape? And why didn't Sonic try to set them free instead of keeping them imprisoned? I mean, what an asshole! Did you take us? You saved me! No, he didn't! You saved yourself by jumping away and defeated the entire purpose of having to play as Tails. Now, could the infinite train, loaded with bullshit, be any longer? Yes. How the hell did he jump from here all the way to here? Now there's no reason why he couldn't jump to that nearby island at the very beginning. If you don't hit the switch, you have to watch this. That was almost 10 seconds of nothing! Why doesn't Sonic jump away like he did before a partially closed gate? The orca disappears into the gate and beneath the water. Now the camera shakes, and this is a cutscene! Darn! We're not gonna make it! Let's speed up! Oh, now he runs faster? If he ran faster at the very beginning, he would have caught up by now. One up? What's wrong with this? And I die two seconds later? Why are they replaced by empty containers? What a crap full of fuck platypus! Okay, so I beat the level, but why does Sonic stop and pose in the middle of the chase? Remember the feather scene from Forrest Gump? Hard not to, isn't it? Riding the snowboard looks fun, but trust me, it sucks more than a vacuum. The controls are horrible. Fuck! It's like riding a unicycle wearing a sumo suit moving a horse on a baby stroller through a bunch of winding hills. No, don't go up! Oh, come on! It didn't even hit me! Well, now I'm fucked. What? You could go right through it? What? I died? Now, before, the lamest excuse forced you to play as Tails, but now, for absolutely no reason at all, you're simply just forced to play as him. And that's actually worse because, well, they didn't even try! Fuck! Also, if Tails was already about halfway through the level, then why didn't he just finish up by himself without waiting for Sonic? Are they trying to save the world, or are they baton racing with invisible batons? Well, I couldn't tell you exactly what they're doing. Why? Because the story is a completely illogical fucking encyclopedia. If we don't return in time, Elise will die on board Eggman's battleship. That means 
That means you travel back even further in time. I mean, if you can travel through time, then why should you worry about it? I mean, why should you run about it? Oh, you're gonna love this one. Shadow jumps into this portal. Oh, you son of a bitch. And out comes Rouge the Bat. We? What do you mean, we? Shadow jumped into the portal. I don't know where the fuck you came from. Now, this is where the game really takes it up the ass. Dying is easier than the kindergarten math test. Believe me, you don't want to fuck around in this death playground. Everything wants you dead. The almost unavoidable obstacles on the road and falling debris that comes out of nowhere and it's in a fraction of a second. The camera by changing angles. The bad frame rate by making you run faster than the camera and crash into objects. And ironically, even the rings, because when you magically glide through them, the straightforward momentum hurls you into even more objects. Also, if you stay too close to the edges you die, if you jump too early you die, if you jump too late you die, and because you can only jump straight if you jump at the wrong angle you die, you will die again and again and again and again and again. I can't take it anymore! This game is a disgrace to the hedgehog's legacy. Why is it so bad? Why is it so fucking atrocious? I had more fun being trapped underneath two triceratops fucking my mother takes a diarrhea on my face. It's vomited hedgehog poison shit and looted mushy green partially undigested rotting cow shit. It sucks. It really sucks. It super fucking sucks so much super fucking gorilla fuck. It fucking sucks itself inside out infinitely beyond imagination and makes black holes explode. And I think it's a pile of poop.